Hi, my name is Dr. Tim Barker and I'm joined by Dr. Danielle Pollock, who is going to introduce us to searching for systematic reviews. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Tim. So can you please just run through the basic steps for how to search for systematic review authors? Yeah, I can. There's three stages to search, searching in systematic reviews. The first stage is that initial, initial stage when we're developing our search strategy, where we're looking for key terms and, and mesh terms that we can include within our specific search strategy for that research question. Uh, the second stage is the actual search itself, and that should be done within two hopefully three databases and also combine that with some grey literature or unpublished literature searching as well. And then the third stage is when we look at the included references that in our study and we look at their reference list and we look at the titles and we go, well, are those going to meet our inclusion criteria? Now, how do I know as a systematic review author if my search strategy is going to uncover all the studies uh, required for me to answer my review question? Now, before I kind of go into the answer to that, this is where I'm going to highlight the absolute importance of seeking out a librarian. They will be your best point of call in working out if your search strategy is specific enough or sense and sensitive at the same time. Because it's a really hard balance to work out, am I being too sensitive and having too many resources that maybe aren't relevant to my research question or an there's being specific enough to ensure that we're actually getting to the right question. So it's definitely a balance and having a librarian to support you through that is definitely the best resource. Now you mentioned uh, grey literature earlier. Yes. Uh, can you just uh, briefly introduce uh, what grey literature actually is and how we might identify as uh, systematic reviewers? That's a really good question, Tim. So grey literature for us, and it's really important when we're looking at this JBI approach because we're looking at not just the published literature but the unpublished literature. So we could be looking at uh, clinical trial registries and the databases associated with that. We could be looking at guidelines, uh, policies, practices. Uh, depending on your research question, we could either be moving towards uh, blogs or uh, other websites. It really is dependent on the research question that you have. Um, in terms of searching for grey literature, that, you know, that unfortunately doesn't have an ideal process strategy as it is right now. So it can be difficult and it can be overwhelming. There are a few databases like Web of Science that is specific to grey literature um, searching. Uh, we also have Google Scholar. But what you'll find with Google Scholar is that you're not going to be able to, um, you may have pages and pages and pages. So it's going to be quite a sensitive search when we go there. So you have to work out, well, what's your strategy? Are you going to stop at page five, page 10, or are you going to determine whilst you're searching when it's no longer getting you know, relevant to your review question? Uh, and what do you suggest about people including the results of uh, student theses or, or dissertations into their review? And how, may, how might they find these sources if they do include them? Yeah. Definitely include them. They are a source of unpublished literature. They are generally academically done. They've been peer reviewed in a sense with um, hopefully to pass. So I would uh, include a thesis. The way to uh, actually search for thesis is a little bit different. There's a depository of thesis that you can look for. You can look at your own institution as well because they should have all of the student thesis within that as well. And do you have any general advice or tips and tricks that you might share with some of our viewers about uh, how they might search or, or some resources that you could direct them to to help them learn how to better search for the evidence? I would firstly, and I say this every time I'm teaching about searching, become best friends with your librarian because your research librarian understands each different databases and the language that's needed to use them, especially things like key terms and mesh terms and, and, and combining a really robust search strategy. And you really, should, we should always be going to our research librarian. They're an absolutely invaluable source. If not, also our JBI Evidence Synthesis Manual has discussions about um, how to search within a systematic review as well. 
and there's also a variety of short courses like our very own comprehensive systematic review training where we talk about um, searching. Thank you very much Danielle for joining us. My pleasure Tim.